Hey Verdan, welcome to the stream man, how are you doing today? Great, awesome man. Good to know you're doing great. I'm doing good as well. Um, just continuing the process of uh, designing this page. And then hopefully developing. I'm hoping to complete this page by um, the week. By Friday. But I think it's going to be kind of difficult because after this process, what I'll need to do is I will then need to... Um, I will need to create... I will need to gather all the... Um, ingredients for the page so you know the copy um, the the results the pictures screenshots and things like that so that might be a little bit of that might take a little bit of time so yeah so hopefully you know you can learn something from um, from this entire process uh, of how to actually go about uh, for us at least as an agency how we go about creating websites and if you have any questions um i would love to answer them if i'm able to help This is such a nice, you know, this is exactly what I want to want to uh, do for our agency. Because as of right now, we don't work with um, all the clients. In fact, we rejected some clients. And the whole reason why is because, um, you know, as an agency, we want to we wanna be able to provide the best for clients that we are working with. And unless we have um, confidence, in regards to the business, um, in regards to their offers, in regards to them, we wouldn't want to work with, uh, you know, certain companies. So we have rejected, you know, uh, websites that are, you know, in the casino niche. 
um, which they really wanted to work with us, but uh, you know we have rejected based on all these qualifications. So this is this part is really really exciting uh, at least for us because um, this is exactly what our team uh, wanted to do. So I I never I never I never uh, actually seen this before. So this is really interesting, which I am gonna put it in my notes. This company looks very big. Yeah, they are a really good uh, agency. One of the best. I love this track, man. I'm gonna turn the music slightly up. So if it gets too loud, just let me know. Yeah, so I like to take inspirations uh, from from big companies to know the kind of like what they have within their website so that I pick out all the certain elements that I like for my website. Oh, this is another big site. This is a really big company. <clears throat> Where's their case study? So their case study is not the best looking site. Yep. They have case studies in about us. Oh really? Oh yeah, I just went f oh there it is. Awesome man, thanks man. So all these are from Clutch. Hey Eugene, what's up? I'm doing good, how are you? This is not
Oh, this, this design is not... Uh, oh my god, this design is not nice at all. Then. So I still can't find a... Mm -hmm. I need like... I need like three elements. Or I want a section like that. And then a quote. This is an individual, so probably <sighs> well. <laughs> something like that, but blown up. Uh, do something like that but blown up probably something like that but blown up <laughs> quote from yeah i think we can So I think tangible results plus one quote will be enough. So something like this, but in the form of this. So probably like, probably like how many, what revenue growth? Yeah, it's probably something like that. And then one quote from client, something like this. Uh, how would it tie up actually victorious one seems to be decent Yeah, so probably it will be a migration of this plus this. Yeah, so
the results. Probably something like that. Project detail. Solution. Yeah, probably I will do the. So I can do the results and then everything just. How do I. The results, yeah. So the results will probably be on the left, but then this one will be like that. And then a quote. I want a quote to be more, more out there. Hmm. This is good. So can I put this in? So for example, let me just try to draft it out. So Can I have the quotes like that? If I put two quotes, would it help? One quote from us. One quote from a client and one quote that is from us. Right? One quote from the client, one quote from us. Will that help? Will that help? Will that help? That will give the client more... It's more special. So for quote wise... So either like that So either this or this Put this here I definitely want a picture A real life human being because that makes it more trustworthy. Okay, let me let me check out more more examples. What's their case study?
Oh, this is a nice looking page too. Very clear, straight to the point. Hmm. This is decent, but uh, hope there was a picture here. Not really nice. All right, I'm taking too long, so I'm gonna just decide. Yeah, I want to make it all about the client, so we're not gonna put ourselves here. So once this is done, and then we can have just one section like like that, one testimonial. Something like this. Yeah, I think this will be good. So that and then one below like that, okay. okay. So we're gonna include So probably Yeah, so we're gonna have three main ones We're gonna have And then Okay, 
So that's done. And then last but not least will be call to action. So call to action. Show and include inside the call to action. Showcase of transparency. So this is their call to action, which is awesome. I like this the most. Most of the call to action is pretty straightforward. Doesn't even have a call to action. Yeah. This is so simple. I like the website a lot, man. Scorpion. Hmm. How, how, how? Why not you How can I showcase the USB? So I can showcase here and then Actually,
Don't have case study, okay. Okay, so um I want to do something like that, but I can't find a design for it. So probably, let's see. Okay, so call to action. What should I put for call to action? Uh, blah 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 blah. blah. You see that any Oh my god, this design is... Oh my god... Yeah, so something like, like this... I mean not like this, but... This concept... How do I include it? Oh! Yeah, I think I know how. So probably like logo. Yep. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yep, 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 I got it, I got it.
probably something about our USB and then a call to action. While making your page, will you be using a builder like Elementor or Divi? Yep, I use Elementor, brother. I use Elementor for all my websites. Because uh, it's, I, I be, at least to me, it's the easiest. Or, you know, I started out uh, using Elementor straight from the get go. So, what do you use? I am curious to know what you use, man. So, so probably like this section over here. Hmm. So because this is will be this will be like three main one two three here son looking forward to it i use elemental as well but i just edit the elemental template itself oh okay yeah most of the time that will work most of the time that is that itself is already good enough uh to build a website honestly it's just sometimes you know like for me um i i build every elemental site i build every elemental site uh using the hello team so and the reason why is because uh you know there's a lot of debates about which teams will uh, are the ones that loads um the less resources and stuff like that so i just went with halo because um it's very stripped down where you know it's very minimal in a way so you build out everything on your own the headers the footers every individual pages every individual sections and things like that so i use halo team for all the websites but i have used um Astra and ocean wp teams in the past but as of right now most of the pages i'm building out is with uh halo team I kind of like this. I'm going to do this. It's like a big headline. Then Y. And then a big call to action button. Okay, I'm almost done. Finally. And I think this is like... Um, This is this is what I have in mind, but when I build the website, I'm probably not gonna look at it. So, yeah, what makes us different? Yesterday, when you pointed out that my site looks like template, I couldn't agree more. I mean, I couldn't even remove a section. That is how bad I am. Yeah, bro. Uh, so it, it's fine, you know, because we all started out like that. So if you have any, if you have any uh, questions, right, um, just feel free to let me know. Uh, I want to help out as much as possible, as much as I can, you know, if I know how to do it. I guess that's the reason why I'm streaming. But anyway. And it also makes it more fun, so. So I probably want to do something like this.
Okay, I think I'm... I think I'm done. So I want to see if there's a UI kit uh, that I can... I don't think there is a UI kit. Reverse the showcase of Unix on point. Auto action will. So this is just for reference when I'm building out the site. So I have my reference here, 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 here. Here. Let's see if there's any UI kit for Elemental. Okay, so I'm gonna close everything off. Too confusing. The problem with marketing, right? Or when you're working on website, uh, or at least online, it's too many tabs, and I have no idea why am I opening up this. Um, what do I wanna do? Elemental UI kit. What is the difference between hero and call to action? So hero, it's probably like ah, uh, this is a good example. Well, not, actually, not a good example. Hero, it's uh usually it's to describe a picture. So, like for example, this is a hero. This is a hero image, right? And then a call to action is more like a button. So a call to action is a button, or usually. And the reason why I'm saying, you know, this section is a, a hero or and things like that is because in my mind, that's how I associate uh, with stuff. So um, the actual words, I guess the actual, I don't know, terms will be this, this part over here will be the first fold. And then... Um, the call to action is just basically these buttons over here. But in my mind, I want to have a section for call to action. So like, for example, this part, like this section, I want it to be a call to action, right? So all the pages that I built up uh, for this particular page, uh, the song is very, very distracting, but it's so good. Yeah, but anyway, um, so with a uh, call to action, the reason why I included under a specific section uh, all the way until at the end of the page because that's where I want to have the call to action uh, at. So what's going to happen is there'll, there will not be any call to action uh, throughout this uh, specific page that I'm building because it's a case study page. And the person that I'm trying to target uh, with regards to reading this will be potential clients. And, uh, you know, they want to find out about information on, uh, you know, uh, questions they would like to get answered so that is very much the page intent uh, what the page is intent for so again I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit yeah so when you're building out every individual page right you want to think about who is your client uh, but I mean who is your who, who is your target audience number one and also what you want to do with this particular page Right? What's the purpose of this page? If the purpose of the page is to inform, it's an informational piece of content, right? Then you want to design it such a way that um, the purpose of the page is to bring information. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't uh, include call to action within there, but it's just that as compared to say, for example, a landing page. Now, a landing page, the, the sole purpose of a landing page is to get the customers to do something, is to get the traffic to either sign up or um, you know uh, make a phone call or any other to purchase or things like that right but the whole purpose of that landing page is to make sure that people do something at the end of the day now this means to say when you're structuring out or when you're designing that particular page uh, as compared to an informational page you will see that the the call to action will be a lot more uh, a lot more prominent a lot more obvious uh, when you look at a landing page 
versus if you look at a piece of like say for example an about page an about us uh, about us page you will not see a lot of a uh, what do you call it you will not see a lot of like call to actions right but when you go to a landing page for example you will see a lot of um like prompts like hey do this now like join for free you know and things like that so that's kind of like the difference when you're building our site so you want to understand what is the page for what is the purpose of that page is it to inform is it to uh you know give information is it to convert you know and i think there's a lot of other information uh, a lot of other uh intent you can do with it and then you want to you know make sure that um, you're structuring it out based on that so the whole reason why i've included only one call to action within this page is because this is a case study page and the reason why uh this page uh exists or the reason why i want to put this page out is because i want to give um uh, potential clients that i'm working with some examples of the work that we have done and also at the same time help them to uh, answer some questions they have in their mind and you know you just give them a lot more information um before engaging us and kind of like giving them the credibility and the trust so it's very much a piece of um uh, informational uh con most of it will be informational right where we are where we are giving information to a potential client but that doesn't mean that we don't want to convert them because at the end of the day we also want to convert them but um um the frequency of how uh we are prompting them should be very little because again it's an informational piece of content so that's why we have the call to action all the way at the bottom here and not like spread out across i mean we could but um uh i mean we can design and stuff like that so <laughs> i hope that answers your question from uh from one simple you know uh difference between hero and call to action yeah UI kit. Yeah, I understood. Thanks. No problem, man. Oh yeah. We need to this I nearly forget. We have to design for mobile first. Well not first but So this is a UI kit that needs to be purchased. I don't want to purchase anything now because I can always build from the scratch, but I just want to... I just want to see if there's something that I can grab straight away that I can use, you know. I don't think... Um, there's this place and battle element. I subscribed there for like a month, but I I think it's a pretty good platform. So I just want to see if there's any UI. Yeah, they don't have a. I mean, I don't need to have a UI. It. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like it.
Hallo? Dashboard UI Seems to be nothing that I can use. All right, never mind. Never mind. Um, let's see. So this is the page. This is uh the current website that we have, <clears throat> and we're just redesigning it. You know, cause uh I sort of put this website up uh very quick on the get go. So I think it's time for redesign. Which I think is very bare bones. And there's something wrong with the design. Yeah, but uh, we'll solve one thing at a time. Whoop. Weird. Hey Alice, do you work from home? Yep. Yes, bro, I work from home. Uh ninety-nine percent of the time. What about you? Do you work from home? Yeah, well, technically, I don't have any business, just freelance stuff. Okay. I mean, um, oh, wait. So you just freelance? Oh, okay, okay. So you're freelancing. May I ask, like, what what kind of freelance work do you do, and on which platform? Like, is it on Upwork or on Facebook groups? If I remember correctly.
Okay, so I think we'll start just building out the frame little by little. So case study, let's see what's my case study page look like. Ah, uh, so this is not good at all. So I'm going to build a template. So whenever I have a new client or yeah, so I'm gonna build a template and whenever I have uh you know uh whenever I wanna add in new i i'll just new projects i'll just use the template so i think it's a lot easier yeah facebook groups hunting clients and building their website or reselling seo services from black hat world okay um let's see single post Uh, okay. Hmm. Wait, where is the? Did they change the format? Why is it so weird? Mm, okay, so blank canvas. Okay. So first of all, Oh no. So it's gonna be a big and then a hero image. Do I wanna show in a hero image? The client. Client's brand. Okay. Hmm? Why is it Roboto? This wasn't supposed to be Roboto. Wait, have they changed my setting? Wait, what? Wait, they changed. Ah, oh, okay, okay, I got it. Yeah, 
because uh, what I did was um, damn it. So if you are not sure, right? Whenever uh, you, at least for me, how we go about create with creating websites is we always stick to a few brand design guidelines. So we have essentially three main colors, which is our brand color, our accent color, and also our neutral color. So neutral, it's more or less making up like 70 to 80% of the colors of your website. Brand is obviously uh, your brand's color. And then accent, it's uh, most of the time um, colors that stand out. Like for example, your call to action, your call to action colors um, and stuff like that. So this is the main three colors that you can have. And then also you want to make sure that you stick with a font. So this way your website and your, your, your website and your brand conveys a consistent message because if say for example, if your homepage is using um, uh, font A and then uh, if on your website, uh, if on another page on your website, say for example, your About Us page, your font is a, diff a totally different kind of font, then it's going to be communicating different um, messages to your audience, right? So if your font on your homepage is very professional, but when somebody clicks through to your website, to your About page and your About Us page, you know, the fonts are very, you know, funky and stuff like that. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a confusion with regards to portraying your brand. So you always want to start off with um, three main colors your brand colors, accent color, neutral color. And also you want to pick out two fonts. One is your main font uh, and the other it's your your other like uh, body fonts and stuff like that. So um, the reason why this all got, got messed up is because I was creating, I was designing a, uh, uh, I was designing um, a website for one of my clients and I, I don't think I actually use this, but I am not sure why why the the fonts got messed up so anyway we're gonna we're gonna change all that back so primary color x color is going to be black it's so weird Oh wait, so wait, this is this is my current accent? No. X is black. Neutral. So I guess we can have two accents. Why is my phone all messed up? Oh my god. Uh, 
ET service 700. APT Plato ET Sense Vieto It is a reason. <sighs> it is sense one. Closing to the computer so that Weird. I got global colors down. I got global fonts. So Roboto, Roboto Slap, Roboto, Roboto. So all these are wrong. So I'm gonna change. I'm not sure whether you will change all the rest, but uh, I'm gonna try. So this is PT Serif. And 700. Uh, 36. Oops. Then it's gonna be seven hundred. This is like for headers. Secondary. Accent. And then this is for headers. And then this is for body. Haters, it is sense. H one. Well, actually,
All this is PD sense. And fine. Yep. Three. Three speed. Okay, okay. So uh before the start of every you know design, I like to set everything up first so that um uh, when you are creating a page, uh you know the fonts it's consistent and stuff like that. So I am not sure why is there so many like different types of typo typography. It's supposed to be 18. So I just want to check to see if uh, this is set accordingly. So H1s, 80 cents. What is this? Oh, okay, so I can choose from my global. H2, H2 is PT Sense 700, 32, H3, and then H4, we're going to leave it as it is, because I don't think we'll use, and you, we'll, we won't use H, H4. And then body... It is a reef, 418 pixel. Yep. Paragraph facing. Okay, so this is done. That's for typography. And then for buttons, typography, we're going to use accent. Don't need text shadow. And color, we're going to use accents color. Images don't really need to do any images and then I think we're set Yep, so we're gonna update so this way uh, whenever we you know design out the first template It will look consistent Okay So now what we want to do is we just want to create a mock-up right so we're gonna let's see the first one we're gonna insert a page two sections and then we want to make each section i'm gonna try this out first so what is lato So essentially, we're going to have one big text and then one small text, right? So one big text and then one big text and then one small text. There's way too many words. I only want to have two words. Probably two words. Not two words, but two sentences. So we're going to put one heading. And then one text editor. And then this will be an image so then we need to give this uh you know this entire page so we're gonna put height fit to screen so this will be the first fold and then we can kind of take a look uh, uh so the font definitely can be way bigger 
form can be way bigger and then we need to do some background work so that it doesn't look so dead yeah so that it doesn't look so dead like uh yeah so we're gonna increase the Oh, you know what? I actually have Croco Block downloaded, so I can probably play around with a lot of other stuff here. Okay, for now, let's just go with this first. So we're gonna... Um, I'm gonna have a filler image. Um, I want to have a filler image. Filler image. Yeah, I'm gonna try to download. How big is this image? Oh, okay, 733 by 745. Okay. Okay, um, be right back. Be right back.
Okay, I'm gonna sh uh, make some changes to the screen. Now you should only be able to see this screen.
Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Get elements, right? Hey, I just noticed that you don't have a home button in your menu. Do you recommend removing it? Uh, I think it's personal preference. For me personally, I don't think the home page will help because um, usually people know that your logo will direct you back to the home page. So um, I, I think instead of recommending you, let me try and walk you through my thought process. So first of all, um, I don't like my menu to be clogged up with a lot of uh, I don't like the navigation menu to be uh, clogged up with a lot of options so that's number one number two like I mentioned earlier I believe people know that by clicking on the logo will direct you back to the home page so hence you know I don't have a home home button here now that being said uh, there's not really a recommendation here but it's more like a preference because there are a lot of websites that they do have a home uh, button here although as of now i'm seeing a lot lesser yeah i'm guessing because of how people are using the internet uh when they are using websites they know that by clicking on a logo it will direct them back to the home page so that is how that is why i decided to remove mine i hope that helps answer your question my man Yeah, all right, man. Cool. Jet element.
Where the hell is my license? This is it? Oh, okay Oh, I was just setting up some stuff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, I guess uh, this can be used now. Okay. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try save trough and then refreshing it. There it is. So let me see. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Is there any way that I can play with this? I actually only would just want to change the color though. So is there a uh, headline? Yeah, this works. Okay, okay. Uh, first part. So let's just say nine 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 percent increase. In. Organic graphic and then decorative elements. There is no icon after deco type. Also, I guess it's a style. After deco type, what is this? Ah, okay, okay. This is cool. All right, all right. So this adds a little bit more punch. So first part, it's gonna be black. Okay, X color. Oh, no, no, no. This is a, uh, what do you call that? Brand color? It doesn't stand out, so probably secondary color and then, okay, let's just make the second part black color so we can see the contrast. 
Okay, and then we're going to try to increase the... I don't like how, why this is going all to the side. Yep, okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to increase the font size. So this size is, uh, what size is this? 72 so we're going to increase this to 72 okay and then the one below it's in 72 as well which is decent what we're going to do is we're going to delete this and then we're going to move this down here so this does the work um, simple one liner crease And I can actually have a logo, but don't think this is necessary. But let me see what logo I can play with. So probably like a graph. Uh, 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 okay, I'm going to just try this out. See what, what does it look like. It uh, looks kind of shit. This looks kind of shit. What the hell is this? Okay, so one th one uh, place that I like to get logos, right? Shit, what is it called? What is it called? Shit. Um, I forget what's the... Let me see. Um, Where is it? I don't think it's this. So there's this place that I get, ah, Flaticon, this is the one. So you can get tons of free free logos, uh, nice logos here. And you can even change the color, so this is a really good resource. So what I want to do is just find out SEO. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see if there's anything that we can So like probably this Right, so there's no graph uh, And then what color should it be? Probably accent color? Nah I only want accent color to be clickable colors. If it's black, it's going to be really ugly. Okay, we're going to try... I'm gonna try to see if this is nice. I'm gonna upload SVG. I actually have some here. Let me see if this works. This looks nice. Yeah, it's not big enough. Okay, never mind. Then I'm gonna do it up. So something like that, but uh... 
something like this so we are just coming up with the mock-up uh, a wireframe do I want it to be white? I like this to be smaller What is this? Okay. Yeah. I think this can be bigger though. Oh, I can even make this black color. Which is ugly AF. How do I uh clear? Oh, I can increase the size of the icon, but yeah, there's really no need, right? Unless it's customized icon. Yeah, never mind. I'm gonna do that. So price eighty seven. Yep, simple one liner. This one probably, let's see. One liner. Let's see if we. Too long so i'm gonna cut this down Hmm. Too much. Yep, good enough. And then one picture here, which is okay, I guess. Uh, we can make this picture a bit squarish. Um, I'm going to use a uh, example picture to fill it up. So I'm gonna just have uh, example pictures. Need a big enough.
What is this? Not big enough though. Oh, bro, okay, blah, blah, blah. The landscape picture is it nicer or if I make this not that nice huh Too close to each other. There's this gap here. This is fine. I just need to change the layout of this. But so probably like a Yeah, but uh Again, this is just so so initial, right? So I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna stop uh for now. Cause uh, how long have I been streaming? Two hours. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, right? Is I think um the next stage is I'll be looking at. Um, I'll be looking at. The, I think the colors yeah so let me write it down
Yeah, so I think uh, tomorrow what we need to do, right, it's we'll need to think of like how do we um, pan out the design of the page to see because I don't want it to be like a um, section and then this is one color and then the next section will be a different color, right? Because then it looks very, the design is not that great. I want to look, I want it to look something like this, for example. Right where this section is, it's like that, right? And then they have a section which is um, this color, and then they have, you know, the section. So the page is not a very dead page where it's just one section is one color and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's probably going to be for tomorrow. And then what I will do is I will then build out the rest of the the uh, filler pages. Yeah, and kind of see what else can we do with it. So I guess that's all for today. Uh, will I be streaming tomorrow? Probably. Yeah, probably. And in fact, I think I'll be streaming uh, later on because later on I'll be working on a uh, uh, partnership project of mine. So I'll be redesigning. I'll be walking you. I'll be walking through um, how I look at an e-commerce site, and then basically give you all my thoughts on how we actually go in to a website analyze what is working what is not working and then showing you the strategies of um you know what needs to be done and then um uh, kind of walking you through all that stuff because i think a lot of times i don't know but i think people might want to see you know how an agency take on a client site and then um kind of how uh, to work on the website, the strategies, the mind behind the implementations. So I hope uh, it can help you out when you look at your own website or when you look at other websites that you're working on. Um, it can help you increase the conversions and also uh, just making your business a lot better. So I think that's for later on, probably in like two to three, probably two to three hours. I'm not so sure. Um, I can't commit, unfortunately. Uh, right now, I'm just streaming because uh, I like it, number one. And number two, I hope to, you know, at the same time while I'm working, I'm also providing some value um, to whoever that's watching. So um, as of right now, I don't have a solid schedule yet. But regardless, whether I am streaming it live uh, or not, it will always be recorded. So you can always watch the recording. So with that being said, um, yeah, you, you would love that. All right, awesome, man. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Uh...